Stacy has finally found a way to balance everything in her life. She owes it all to the perfect nanny. Oh, look at her, she's so great with the kids. She's a terrific cook, and I don't know what I'd do without her. Geez, we're really gonna miss Marissa when she's gone on vacation next week. I think I can handle my own family. <laughs> hey, here we are. Stephen, we made it. Hey, hey everybody, so good to see you. You're in the yeah. right place. And you we're gonna are. get streaming in like just a few minutes with Mother of the Week. Right. Uh, but Jen, Yes. Was just helping me prepare for my next big audition. Mm -hmm. Are you smarter for? Uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> That's right. Clearly, he's not. But let's try exactly. it anyway. Well, I've you know, with everybody doing the homeschooling, yeah. I figured who better than Jennifer Giles, Miss Mother of the Week herself? Yes, this e-learning is crazy. Anyway, all right, you ready? Did you finish yes. your uh, achieve article on ancient Greece? Uh, not yet. Okay, how'd you do on the vocabulary for the coronavirus? The essay. The, the flow. Who? The, uh, and the Ed puzzle? Well, you know, I never like puzzles. Are you sure you did the Olympics padlet? Oh, did I tell you I've always dreamt of being a figure skater in the Olympics? Wouldn't that be fun? Huh? Did you finish the gym kit review game on fractions? Can you spell rocket? Oh, yes, rocket. R O C K H E A D. Rocket. All right, close enough. Um, so, what do you think? Oh. Will I be smarter than a fifth grader? Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be on TV now. It's <laughs> that quiz took, that was really short. Let's talk about the, um, we have a contest, right? Oh. Everybody, did you, did everybody see that in the, uh, uh, in that little loopy video we got going? There's a contest you can win. What do you win? What do you win, Stephen? You win a mother of the week mug. <laughs> If you can tell us where the fish song is in the film. And now nobody cheat, right? We don't want, I mean, if you already know. Yeah. Right? Cheating. So like. Cheaters never win. Not this like, mug. Right. <laughs> oh, and you want to type it in into the chat. That's right. Type the answer in when it happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my, my mom's calling. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. What? What? Hello. Hi, mom. Uh, Is it? Uh huh. Oh, uh huh. Okay. We're well. We're here. Oh, I thought I said hi. mom. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did you call? Tell me why you called. You said it. <laughs> you're on. You're on. You're Stevens right here. He wants to hear what's going on. Hi, mom. You hear him? Are you watching the YouTube video? No. You didn't tell me to do that. You just said to call you at 8.10. Oh, uh, well, here you are. Well, that's right. All right, so what do you, now what? Yeah. Oh, um, oh, yeah. Now that's the mother, that's the mother of life. Come on, mother of the year. Thank you, mom. As I always said, your time will come. I guess it came. Yeah, it came. It came, it came and went. <laughs> wait your time is now she's right your time is now my time is now <laughs> all right well say okay. say hi to everybody hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right thanks for calling mom all bye, right bye. love you bye Yes, we love mom. Hi, beautiful mom. Thanks for giving us Jennifer Giles, our star. Yeah, yep. she said she said I was the best one, Stephen. Oh, uh, well, she Out ain't lying. But that, <laughs> that I didn't. <laughs> That's just my mom, you know. There's nothing. Yes. I didn't tell her to, you know. Um, all right. Oh, talk about that. We, you know, we want you to stick around after the film, right? Because what's happening? We're having. So uh, yes, we're gonna do a talk back. 
after the film. So stick around after the credits. Mm -hmm. um, pony up your questions because we'll be answering and we'll be with the rest of the cast of the film. I'm only a tiny part. The other folks, like she has a whole family. I just played a friend. Can't wait to see how big <laughs> the kids are. The kids are going to be big. Yes, that's right. Yes. Oh, all right. Ooh. So stick around for the talk back. Put it in the chat. Oh. Girl, remember? <gasps> popcorn, popcorn days at the festivals. Oh, I brought yes, you some popcorn. So Your favorite. C can I have some? Yes, skinny pop. <gasps> oh, yum. Technologies. Thank you so much. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so I think we're ready. Are we ready? Oh, are we gonna roll the tape? What? Roll the tape. Let's roll the tape. <laughs> Mother of the week. Day by day, she's got a lot to say. Right now, she's got a chance. You're like the only woman who I know who could fuck herself up doing yoga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's Marissa, the new nanny. You never met her? That's the new nanny? Yeah, she's great. Oh, she's been with us for like six months now. Holy shit. How do you let something like that into your house? Oh, look at her. She's so great with the kids. Oh, I love her. I love her so much. Look at that body. Uh, look at those tits. You can't compete with that. Thanks. I'm just saying it the way it is. She's hotter than a jalapeno papa. I would do her. Mommy's home! <laughs> Brownie! <laughs> Stacy! Hi! Hi. Hey. It's so awesome to see you. <laughs> Did you have like a killer day or what? How's the foot? Oh, it's okay. This is my friend Dawn. Hi! Oh my god, I love that necklace. Thanks. Okay, so the crock pot's rocking with some delish chicken cachawa. <laughs> Do you need help with your bag? No, no I'm, I got it, thanks. Right on. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you in a few. Katie, how's my best girl? You're home early. Oh, I'm not home early. I'm home right on time. <laughs> well, then can we go to the nail salon? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie pie. It's dinner time. Hey, call me when you need a ride to the lawyer's office. If you need some uh, painkillers, let me know. I can write you a prescription. Okay. This chicken cachawa is delish. Is there anything she can't do? Geez, we're really going to miss Marissa when she's gone on vacation next week. You sure you can manage? I mean, I've got that confidence, your foot, all that stuff. Oh, I'll manage. <laughs> Where's Marissa going? Um, she's going to uh, Costa Rica, hang gliding. Can I go too? Uh, no, sweetie pie, you just started first grade. <laughs> but I want to go. Yeah, but you can't. But I want to. Tim? Um, you can't. Not fair. Yeah, well, life isn't fair. <laughs> Oh, here, I'll, I'll do the rest of these, Marissa. Oh, it's okay, no can... problem. I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay, well, then I'll, I'll, I'll put these away. Thank you. Nighty night, honey. Good night. 
No kiss for mommy? Aww. I love you, sweetie. Pie. Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing, beautiful? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. I'll go to sleep. Watch that foot. You don't want to be in that thing for the next two weeks. You're on my side of the bed. Oh, am I? Come on, hon. I've got to review this procedure before the AM. Texting Tammy here. Sorry, I'll get right back to them. Productivity, people. Productivity. Oh, hey, Miss Thing. Hey, hey morning. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, did you catch the voice last night? Oh, yeah. I uh -uh. cannot believe uh -huh. the skank with the nose job couldn't hit that high G. Uh -uh. That is just so wrong. I know, but that's your signature, isn't it, Antoine? Well, you know it is, What's girl. That? Oh, ah! Oh, uh. oh, so nice in the morning. <laughs> Thank you, Fantasia. I am not afraid of her. Don't just stand there. Productivity, people. Okay, she scares me. I was thinking, I really don't need to go out of town next week if you need me here. Oh, don't be silly, Marissa. Of course you should go. I know, but with your bad foot and all, it, it might be a little much for you to handle. I can just reschedule my trip. No, 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 no. I insist that you go. But if you want... You're going. Don't worry about me. I think I can handle my own family. <laughs> drive any faster. I've got a cast on my foot. You're leaving already. It's my nanny's week off and I gotta get the kids. I'm assuming that's important. <laughs> yeah. so, so I only have uh, six minutes to get to Grand Central. 
Different train. My boss is like, you see my chew and the whole thing. Oh yeah, Jose. Thank you so much for waiting with her. Thank, thank Mrs. Rajensky. Bye, Mrs. Gordy. Bye, dear. Have a good day. Sorry. Okay, come on. I'm telling you, what a piece of work. Hey, did you have fun at school today? I'm hungry. Where are my pretzels? Huh? Marissa always brings me pretzels at pickup. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, we have um. Cough drops. I want pretzels. Uh, what's for dinner tonight? Uh, pork chops. Uh. So I ran into Don Weiss today at the uh, same day surgery. I said to him, uh, Don, everybody needs an operation. It's just my job to find out where. I'm done. Uh, did you say excuse me? I'm done too. I'm glad you didn't finish your broccoli. Hmm. Ah. Good meal, hon. <laughs> when you little, you die. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when someone kills you, you die. Yeah. But the pork chops won't kill you. Jeff and Cindy. Jeff and Cindy? Jeff and Cindy. Cindy? Cindy with the pointy teeth? And the big ass? Oh, and the shrill voice! Oh, oh, that would be sick. Bitch alert. Oh, oh. You know, I don't give a shit about her. A brownie for breakfast. You know, I run 12 miles every day before work, hip hop abs on the weekend, and I lost 83.5 pounds on the caveman diet. And you, look at you. So happy to whoop those carbs right down in front of me. You think? Have some self-control, Stacy. Oh, you're right, Val. I, I really don't, I don't want this. Exactly. Stacy! Girl, do you have something special in those brownies? Please stop. You're embarrassing me. Come on, kids. No, no, join the mom. No. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> hey, kids, where are you going? Over here. Marissa jumps better. Hey, Marissa didn't do this. Oh, oh my God! Oh, no! No! Oh. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I didn't see you there. Nice dismount, Mary Lou Retton. Painkillers are a beautiful thing. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> is alcohol. <laughs> I got some wine. Let's write that open. I really think I'm starting to finally reach them. They're your kids. You don't have to reach them. The only time you have to reach them is when you're trying to smack them upside the head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I put the moves on Tim the other night. And? And he moved his bowels. Oh, come on. Are you serious? I guess I just, he just doesn't find me sexy anymore. Don't say that. I'm sure someone finds you sexy. Name two. Why two? Can't it just be one? Ugh. The guy from the gas station, the one who pumps the gas. If I have to eat another freaking kale salad to keep up with Marissa, oh my God. Relax, okay? So you're not the perfect woman, so what? Mm. 
Yes, I am, damn it. That's what I said. You are. You're Drink the perfect up. woman. All right. Shush. All right. I brought pretzels. I can't eat pretzels, so I have to go to the dentist. Oh, is that today? Shit! These are the yes I know, I know, I said shit. Get over it. <sighs> Come on, eat your dinner, it's getting late. You heard your mother. Can I have a lollipop? Uh, no, you have to finish your dinner. I went to the dentist today, I want a lollipop. After you finish your dinner. Lollipop! Dinner! You're the worst mommy ever! I hate you! You're not my mommy! Oh, no more spilling, okay? Enough with the spilling! Great meal, <sighs> Stace. Hey, look, I have to help Noah with his bio. Would you mind cleaning up? You're the best. I have a conference call at 8 a.m. Oh, oh. What? I, I just can't handle this. Is he smacking her with the hairbrush again? Serves her right. No, not the book. My life, it's, it's a mess. Well, Marissa's not here. Oh, I know that. Don't you think I know that? I'm running around like a chicken with its head cut off. I, I can't do anything right with Caitlin. She hates me. She doesn't hate you. Oh, just put that stupid book away. Yes, she does. I try and try to make her happy and nothing works. Well, stop trying so hard. Just be yourself. Uh, yeah, myself. I'm a wreck. I'm limping all over the place. I can't remember anything. I can't cook a decent meal. My nails look like shit. <laughs> That's what happens when you grow old. Oh, I am not growing old. Why oh, stop trying to cheer me up, asshole? <laughs> Come on, Stace. I'm growing old, too. <laughs> Wrong pretzels. I didn't mean to do it. Oh, you didn't mean to do what? Oh, you can tell mommy. <laughs> I yelled at Timmy because he was taking the red crayon. Miss Bernice gave him your me. She said I was bad. Oh, oh, sweetie boy, you're not bad. You just yelled, that's all. At least I didn't say the F word. <laughs> yeah, at least you didn't say the F word. Come on, I have an idea. Caitlin, honey, I know you miss Marissa, but Mommy's doing her best. I know, Mommy. I know. All right, let's chillax.
The three of them played with a new purple ball. She smelled every flower in Puddle's garden. That evening, they had a cookout with corn on the cob and watermelon. I love you, Mommy. No. I love you too, sweetie pie. I miss Marissa. I miss Marissa too. She's got no time to speak, mother of the week, mother of the week. Oh, 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 yeah. Doing her best, giving all she's got. She's trying to do it all, trying to do it all. She's trying to do it all. <laughs> but we are live oh my Yay. god this is a reunion we haven't seen i haven't seen a lot of these people in a long look at the kids look at the two i oh. too long that's oh anthony gosh. and alessia say wave hi, hi. or say hi, hi. Oh, yeah. Hi, and I'm meeting everybody for the first time. Hi, everybody, castmates. <laughs> you all hey, look brilliant. Jen, I'm here, but my camera's not working. Who's that, Rhonda? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, Rhonda with our set, set, our set design. My camera's not working, so. Okay, well, people can hear you, which is good. Hey, guys, it's Mark. How are you? Hey, Mark, where's your camera? Hey, Hi, we had problems with it tonight. I was on some other thing. I'm sorry. That's okay. okay. That's okay. okay. Well, welcome. Welcome, um, everybody. Welcome. Hey, Steve. Hey, hey, oh. hey, hey, good to see you again. Hey, Lee. Hey, Lee. Yeah. That's a serious beard there, Lee. That's a serious beard. My camera's not working. All right. So, Steve, should we, should we go around and with the people that are here and... Uh, Hey, Randy. Uh, we had problems with it tonight. Can you see me? I can see you. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you're loud and clear. Very nice. Out I can only see one school. person at a time. Hey, yes, one person at a time. Okay, so. That's a serious beard there, Lee. That's a serious beard. So I guess we have some questions, huh, Jen? And we can, um, I guess, yeah. dive right in with the amazing cast. Yeah, let's do that. 
Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's go around. Let's go around. I'll, t I'll, I'll point out somebody and then you say what role do you played and what was your favorite line? Let's start with, uh, let's start with Marianne. Ah, I, uh, Mrs. Brzezinski, the teacher. <laughs> <Your work. laughs> Did you I get it, my favorite line from you was your improv. <laughs> Piece of work. Piece yeah. Of work. Piece of work. <laughs> <laughs> and Francesco, you were behind the scenes. Yes, I was the second assistant director, yes, for the first two weeks of the, of the shoot. Yes. I remember talking dirty about him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> you remember that we were in the in the car in the front scene, and we were being I was being totally inappropriate. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, my niece is on this. It's okay, she has to grow up. Somewhere. Oh, so what happens on set stays on set? No, no, <laughs> never mind. So they say. Oh, and what about you two little ones who aren't so little anymore? Um, my line was when um like the actors I was talking about like what I did wait can you can you guys mute each can everybody else mute yourselves sure and we'll just hear the pizzas can you hear me okay so yeah. my favorite line was when um, the after school, when I was talking about like the markers, I think. And then, can you say your favorite line? My favorite line was when I was supposed to fake sleep, but then I actually fell <laughs> asleep. I know. It, say it again. So they're on mute. Unmute. Sorry. <laughs> Anthony. Yeah, you were yeah, you were really asleep when we did that shot. That was funny. Do you remember your improv when you when you talked about uh when people die? Yeah. <laughs> At the dinner table. <laughs> and uh and our, our DP just kept rolling and rolling just because it was really funny and he, he went right up close to you. You were great. How old Thank are you, you guys now? I'm nine and I'm 14. Oh my goodness. Wow. How's the how's the e-learning going? Okay. <laughs> it's okay. He doesn't do a lot of his work. Yes, I do. I just more than <laughs> you. <laughs> how's your mom holding up with that? She's good. Yeah. She's got a bottle of wine next to her while she's e-learning. <laughs> you know she does. I'm sure she does, just like me. Okay, I'm so me, and I'm a teacher. <laughs> That's right. Randy's a teacher. Randy, Randy, who did you play? Um, I don't remember. We drank too much. No, I was Dawn. I was yeah. Dawn. And I had the best friggin' time. And let me tell you something. I forgot how friggin' funny. There were so many little things that I forgot how funny. When you are serving the kids breakfast, <laughs> and you just take the cereal box and you just kind of go across and just the, the, the cereal's going everywhere. Doesn't matter if it's going in the bowls or not. You just, you were so freaking funny. The whole script, everybody was cast perfectly. It was such a blast. Such oh, a blast. We were, we got, yeah, everybody was so great. Um, and you know what I love that, um, uh, the, the makeup girls, they they were like all like in training and doing stuff and they did all our makeup so nicely and everybody was just so professional and it was very yep. nice. It really was a good experience. We had we had Adrian Paxton as as my co-producer. With the jewelry. And she not only did she make the jewelry, but she kept everybody in line so that Lee could do his job, right? Let's go, <laughs> let's go over to Lee. He's right here. He's our director. Hi, Lee. He's Wait, you muted. gotta unmute. Uh, Lee, are you unmuted? Can you unmute? 
You got to unmute. I can't hear you. Maybe Kevin, you can unmute him. Oh, okay. All right. We can't hear you. Ah. Can't hear you. Hear you. As if you listen to that, Director Jen, anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, right. while we wait for Correction. while we wait for him, does anyone else have any funny? Well, Simone, um, Simone, Simone. Well, you guys, I can't That's really right. see or hear very well, but I'm here with my balcony rooster who is exercising his right to be masked. <laughs> Rusty, and I have been stopping the spread by fattening the curves opposite of my character. And Jennifer, you didn't even tell me it was flatten the curve. You're not a friend, Jen. You're not a friend. <laughs> you yeah, will Green never be fat, well, ever. I think you wanted us to, to share uh, who we played. Somehow I was miscast as the bitch. Not quite sure how my agents would have submitted me for that role or how you would have cast me as a bitch, but I will say this. I hope that the kids who are not such kids anymore are no longer afraid of me. Alessia and Anthony, you guys were afraid of me at every press event. I, I just hope if we work together again, it, it will be a beautiful experience. She's really, really nice. I was afraid of you too, Simone, don't worry. Am I pink telling you or am I zelling you guys for those nice words? Where so are you, Simone? You look amazing and where are you? Oh God, I am, I'm in Nashville and there's as much construction here as in Manhattan. And I didn't realize they were like jackhammering. So anyway, you guys look great. You guys don't age, only the kids age. Oh goodness. You look so friggin' nice. good. <laughs> you know, oh, with Lee, is Lee, are you, can we hear you? Now? Can you, can you hear yes, me now? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, so, yay. Um, yay, let's listen to that. Lee, we'll mute ourselves. This was the most fun. You guys were great. And it was really good seeing it over again. It brought back some really, really good memories of working with you all and just laughing. And I mean, the whole time it was so great. So it was good to see you guys tonight and good to see the film. I had a blast. Lee, you were so good bringing everything together. Um, oh, it's nice of you to say. Thank you, Jen. Yes, I appreciate it. and and uh, and uh, I put it in the chat, but Randy's line with the um, name too. At the, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was Lee. He came up and said, say name too. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you that a few friends of mine actually commented on that line and loved that line? Yeah. Yeah, there's so wow. many that, that he came up with and situations and shots and what you're just so good. Thank you. Well, I loved I love this shot in, in the um bathroom when you're looking at your toes. <laughs> that's right. I mean, I think that's so cool because we never get to see there's a lot of moments in this film that you just never get to see in the movies with families and with you know, with moms. And I thought that was one of them. It was just like that idea moment when you're looking at your toes and, and then bam, right. you're in the, the nail salon. That was really cool. Yes. Yeah. That was you. That was you. <laughs> Thanks. Jen. We, we, also you have, uh, we also have Laura really Shea on the call. Hi. Hello. So good to Hi. see Hi. everyone. Hi, Tammy. Yeah. Texting so great. Tammy. You all look marvelous and it was really fun to see the film again. So great. Thank you. Thank you. We are like, we're probably a mile away and we never see each other because of this little pandemic Dang. thing we got going on. Yeah. So, <laughs> we had a whole lot of fun. What would you, um, what was, what, do you have any behind the scenes for your, your scene with Simone in the, uh, in the office? Me? Any yeah. moment you want to talk about? Just that I didn't have a name until she named me in the moment, which was really oh. fun. <laughs> Texting Tammy. Yeah. That was so great. Awesome. Okay, so we do have a question from our viewers at home. And this will be for anybody who really wants to answer. Um, what advice would you give someone who wants to break into TV, film, uh, a TV and film? Anyone? 
Francisco. <laughs> write, write something and shoot it yourself. Uh, yeah, I, I concur with, with Lee. Write something and shoot it yourself. You got an iPhone. You, you can get, you know, big time cameras if you want to rent them, but you got an iPhone and you got friends. Shoot it yourself. iMovie, you can edit. And just keep writing because I think, and, and submitting to screenplay competitions to anything because, uh, you know, people will, will see your work there and go to uh, industry meetings, industry uh, um, events as well, and to the markets as well. Those are also really helpful and, and really good for uh, anyone who wants to. Uh, again. And, and surround yourself with like minded people. Like, you know, there's so many different artists, actors. You know, makeup artists, cinematographers who want to do things. And they're waiting for that opportunity sometimes. So, to work with those folks who are hungry to get something done. I'm having problems hearing, but Lee, did you just say to always work with people who are a lot better than you? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm That's still, it. There are so many people that I can't wait to work with for yeah. those reasons. Now, yeah. I think it's so important, I did hear some of what you were saying, and to create your own. It seems that the younger generation is born editing and born doing everything, whereas a couple of us, or maybe just me, the older bitch in this project, um, I came up where I'm used to having a DP, but you don't always have a, a high tau, and you don't always have a Lee to direct, and you don't always have a Nick to edit. You can always create, you can always create characters for other people and yourself, but it's really important to learn everything. I've lost a lot of jobs, to be honest, the past few years because I don't edit, I limit myself. And um, so for whatever it's worth, it's just like they tell you to sing and dance and act and do it all, be a quadruple threat, it's the same thing in yeah. every aspect of the business. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, have, um, we have Mark our uh, executive producer Yay. who's on the call. We also have Fred Stropel, who is my co-writer. And yeah. um, the three of us have a production company together called Mother of the Week Productions. Surprise! Um, so we have, hopefully, we have one uh, other project that's going on and hopefully we will um, get that moving and have other ones. But uh, Fred or Mark, you wanna say something? Sure, am I coming through? Can you uh, hear me now? Yeah, so um, Jen, you had asked me about one. Uh, what I really liked was Jen. I mean, I liked the whole project, and I still laugh about it. Well, I really, uh, one aspect, uh, Jen, if you remember, we were shooting at your friend's house where we started in that one. And she, I had spoken with her, too, with Jen, asking her, if you realize we're going to be shooting a movie here? Are you okay with it? And it turned out she wasn't okay with it, if you remember, Jen. she. Um, she became terribly upset because someone had used one of the bathrooms, I think. You know, we weren't supposed to use one of the bathrooms. And then, Jen, you quickly got us another location, if you remember that one, too. And we were smart enough to shoot it fast enough that they didn't tire of us until the very end, of course. Okay, so. Right. We were actually, we actually had three houses. Okay. Okay. Right. Remember the second yeah. one um, was Jackie and Dan. Yes. yes. And Jackie was our did our hair and makeup along right. with Juliet Cortez, and then we had a whole little crew of other um, makeup artists uh, that uh, Adrian brought in. Our mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so Jackie saved the day, and then and then that the third house. <laughs> yes. yes. Was uh, was the Pollock's house. And yes. uh, we got to finish the film. It's funny because it goes from it, when you it, the scenes are cut together, and it's like you know one house, the next house, the next house. <laughs> but it looks all like one house. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Nick <laughs> and Hightow. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so um, last winter I was walking through Union Square Park and I bumped into Lee and Nick. They were filming something. Uh, he has he's got a contract now with National Geographic for the the TV show, so he does some stuff. And they were still laughing about this and telling me uh, what uh, what great fun it was uh, to work with the project. So, so I want to thank everyone. I I had a great time, and uh, our only regret is we didn't go to Cannes, okay, you know, or or Berlin, but maybe next time, 
okay? Right. Well, we were exactly. in the can. I was actually in the can exactly. in the film. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So was that a stand-in with your toes there? I'm trying to remember that. <laughs> no, those are my ugly toes. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Fred is here. Fred, you want to make, make another funny? <laughs> well, you know, people always ask about, you know, <clears throat> tell some funny stories about writing the script. There's nothing funny about writing the script. You just sit around and write the script. I, we did, you and I just sort of interacted with each other. And then, and then we thought, is that funny? And you said, yeah, I think it's funny. Or is this funny? And then we sent it out. So I don't really have anything exciting to say, except it was a lot of fun watching it again. And it's good to see everybody after all those all those wonderful uh, walking on the red carpets to uh, to nowhere. But <laughs> um, I have a question for you too. How long did it take you both to write this finished script? Can well, can somebody? Jen, you wrote the first draft, right? Yeah, I wrote the first draft. Um, and uh, it's actually loosely based on my life and a friend of mine. Um, I was with her and she was, she's always telling me these stories about her daughter. And, um, and so uh, I was laughing, she made me laugh so hard. And I said, can you guys turn your, mute yourself? And uh, she was laughing so hard. Uh, I was laughing so hard and I was like, well, um, <laughs> your life is a sitcom. And then I thought, oh, that's it. And so then I wrote the first draft and then sent it over to Fred and Fred did his magic as you yeah. <laughs> with the uh, we, we, tweaked, we tweaked some things. We tweak oh, tweaking. <laughs> tweaking. <laughs> and, uh, Fred and I are actually in the same backyard, just a different part. His part's yeah. in the water. <laughs> yeah, I like the lights over in the other part, Fred. Could you maybe bring them over here? It's nice over there. Yeah, well, it looks like the sun's setting a little later over there. <laughs> and Rhonda, Rhonda, you haven't uh, said anything. You want to talk about the set design and how we how that came about? Well, it was challenging because of the three different locations. <laughs> it was a fast pivot, and then. Um, we have the challenge of the season, sort of, because we started, you know, early summer, and then we switched to late summer to finish the filming. But you, because of the camera magic of our great crew, you don't know any of that. Right. It all was seamless looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did an amazing job. Thank you. I remember roping you into it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Stephen, do you have a, you have a, you want to ask any more questions? Yeah. So, um, um, is there an echo here? So, someone, Michael, I believe, said, great job, director. So I just wanted to make sure you heard that, Lee. Um, and then for the rest of the cast, anyone feel free to answer. Uh, just raise your hand and we'll call on you. Um, what are you doing to stay creative um, during these times? Who's that for? Mary Ann. Oh. Simone, you can you creative? turn off your... One of, well, one of the things I'm doing is this i'm learning new technology i'm learning new stuff and how to do new stuff and it's it's exciting i'm sorry it had to happen under these auspices i'm doing more stuff with my voiceover stuff as well i'm getting more equipment and getting more mobile to even record you know um, um connecting with friends on facebook who are writing and doing wonderful fun things people are clearly at home creating because they can't not um, so yeah. And you were, and you were trying to figure out when my clothes are shrinking, but pardon me. You were in a reading of mine. I, I know, but I signed a disclosure, so I wasn't going to mention <laughs> I know. it. Don't talk about the, the actual thing, but we did do, we did a reading on zoom and it was quite fun. I read for the funnest new film. 
I was. I, that was great because you could like this. You got to see people, meet people, and create on the spot, which was so much what Mother of the Week was as well, too. We have a, a nice sort of idea as to what our characters are going to be, but you just you you all gave us freedom. You know, you directed. You did. You know, here's sort of what we think. Have some fun with it. And yeah. it was a very collaborative set. It was it was really great. Um, and. So I did. I did wanted to mention that earlier about Mother of the Week, and I didn't. So oh. um, uh, yeah. So readings, voiceover stuff, zooming, FaceTiming, and that sort of stuff. That's what I'm doing. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, uh, oh, oh. oh, hey. Um, I have been working on some projects here in Nashville. Uh, we have um, a lyric video that's coming out very soon. It's wrapped around these times, so it's trying. It's it's aspirational, but it is very real about the times. It's called Life Well Lived, and um, working on some television projects but on the writer producer end. So we have a project wrapped around the real people of Route 66, and like everybody hurting now, those real people and those businesses are. Are really going to need the project so um, we just shot a sizzle in a few of the, the states and we'll put it out there soon um, taking it around and then have a music project wrapped around the palomino uh, some of you may have known that venue in los angeles so um, there's a big band here in nashville that's called the sons of the palomino so we're going to have a variety series and stuff so i don't know what i'm doing to be honest hoping for the future how's that something like that that sounds great that's awesome. Francisco, you were you wanted to talk about something. Yeah, um, actually, I, I became a, a host for a TV show uh, for, uh, for an opera company uh, for a series. So we're right now uh, with my brother, we are doing a, a series for the Dallas Opera. And uh, we were supposed to release our, our first feature uh, uh, this in April, and that got delayed. So we're right now we're we're reshaping the release schedule for that. Um, our world premiere is actually in July virtually, and uh, we're hoping to release it in theaters in Colombia. We're actually re where we're releasing in theaters. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year. So we've been rescheduling and reshaping that hall release schedule that was supposed to be done already. We were we're excited, but it all got completely like delayed. <laughs> Through the pandemic, so right. Well, that sounds great. it'll be worth oh, the yeah, way, yeah, of course, for sure. You work the way you handsome little, you know what? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I just wanted to talk to the kids again. I'm just so amazed. Um, they got so big. I know. Yeah, how are you I guys know. Can you guys unmute? Unmute. Everybody unmute. else mute. And um, so. Tell me, what are you are you acting, and, and what's happening with that? I know you're in a family of five actors, right? Five kids actors. Yeah. Yeah. So right now, I'm not really acting. I'm focusing on my singing because I sing. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go. You hook up with Stephen. You guys can do a duet. <laughs> and how? And what? And what grade are you in? Well, I'm in eighth grade, and I'm going to be a freshman next year. Wow. And he's in um, third grade. He's in third grade. Anthony, you're in third, you're third grade? grade? And how's the one, don't you have a sister who, we were at, we were at a screening one time, and, and their sister, who's like in the middle, uh, looked over at Alessia when she had her crying scene. What, right? Remember that? And she said to you, she yeah. goes, she goes, oh, you, you are so fake <laughs> like screening or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, very funny. Is she, is she an actress? An actress? Um, well, yeah, kind of. she's kind of an actress, but our brother, Angelo, he's yeah. like the one who gets up. He's the one who bring home, brings home the bacon. <laughs> How old were you guys when you shot the film? Have you? I couldn't hear very well earlier. Have you already told us? Like, how old were you then, and how old are you now? Well, I was um, eight or nine. I was his age, and he—he wow. he was like three. 
Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. I mean, because Jennifer was like 35 when we started and now she's 28. It's amazing how you guys got older and Jen took off several years. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, how do you do it, Simone? You can tell her at. Yeah, there's been no Botox during this pandemic. We'll just leave it at that and let me get a better angle here. Where's Hightow? Hightow, where are you? Where's Hightow when you need a DP? Uh, Lee, what's going on with you? You have an interesting thing, project happening. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in New York. Um, made the move from LA to New York. And I'm direct, I'm not directing, I'm producing a documentary, um, which is about the turbulent 60s and uh, a lot of the, you know, prominent assassinations that took place. So it's a really, really um, doing a lot of research now, scheduling a lot of interviews. And it's just really fun. I'm working with people that I worked with first when I was about 16 and reunited with them and we're doing this, this film together. So it's really exciting. Yeah, that is exciting. I'm so happy. Does anybody else have anything quick to say before we sign off? Well, yeah, that was amazing. I am yes. personally so thankful to finally meet you all. We're all in one <laughs> Zoom room together. Um, I'd love to invite everybody um, to June 8th. I'm doing a cabaret. A cabaret. I see. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's a virtual opening for La Tito in Pittsburgh. So it'll be online. I can send you all the link and everything, but that's what's going on here. But you guys sound like you're really doing a great job just um, making yourselves happy and other people are happy uh, during this time. So we love you. Thank, thank you yes, so you much do. for doing this because you, this was amazing. And just to see it again, like you said, was just so good. And everybody looks amazing. And it's everybody was cast so perfectly. And just it was just an all around amazing experience. So thank you all. Yeah. Thanks, Jen. Thank you for thank you, Jen. And I also want to thank thanks, Adrian. I don't know if she's here or watching, but thank you, Adrian, and thank you to all the cast. You guys were really generous and it was so much fun to work with. So thank, thank you, Lee. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You. And do we have Thank a winner you, for the mug? Do we have a winner for the mug? Did anybody... Uh, Kevin, do we have a winner for the mug? Do you see anybody? I think my 95-year-old dad has been on YouTube for this, so if nobody wins it, you know, <laughs> the fact that he could figure out the link better than I did... Give it to her dad. That's yeah, not no. such a good idea. No, no. I'm just... I, could, I couldn't figure out how to unmute, so I'm just going to say that. <laughs> it's quiet well, where you are. Yeah. All right. Well, you could still, I think you could still comment. And uh, if if I don't hear, then I, I'm saying that um, Simone's dad. No, no. Everybody say I. Yay! <laughs> Oh, well, he's almost 96. It'll be his birthday present. There you oh, go. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. And, and right. he'll be listening to Fish. He'll be That's listening fun. to Steve Pollock's music all night now. Yeah. Absolutely. He's going to play the track over. Soundtrack <laughs> over repeatedly. Oh, good. Thank you, All guys. right. Well, thank you, so everybody. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Be good.